dosed item number four. Ask your doctor if you need to carry epinephrine, and if so, fill the prescription, know how to use it, and have it on hand at all times. Okay, what is epinephrine? Epinephrine is something that can be given in the event of an extreme allergic reaction, also known as anaphylaxis. Epinephrine, some people are used to hearing epinephrine be referred to as a shot of adrenaline. So it basically just jump starts the system and possibly could get your child breathing again if circumstances got to be that extreme. Okay, now currently there are two forms of auto injectors available and they're available by prescription only. So again, ask your doctor if you need to have one of these. EpiPen and Twinject, that's T-W-I-N-J-E-C-T. Now we like both of these. We actually have both the EpiPen and the Twinject on hand and we use them for different reasons. Okay, so the EpiPen is extremely easy to use. You basically can't get it wrong. Um, that is the brand that we give to babysitters, the school, camps, grandparents, anybody other than us. The Twinject, we actually really like as parents because it is really small and light, extremely easy to carry, so there is no reason to ever be without your epinephrine. Now, the reason why I keep saying that we use it for ourselves is because it's a little bit more involved than the EpiPen. You get two shots of, ep of epinephrine in a bottle that's about the same size as one EpiPen shot, and there are a couple of steps that you need to go through to prepare the second dose of epinephrine. So it's a little bit more involved, probably something that is better for the parents of the food allergic child to administer as opposed to, say, a grandparent or the nurse at your child's school. So EpiPen and Twinject, they also have a lot of great educational data on their websites. Now stay tuned and we'll demonstrate for you how to use these. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate for you using a real EpiPen and a real Twinject how you would actually inject the medicine. Of course, we're not going to inject it into our own leg or into our child's leg. We're going to inject it into an orange. So remember, this is a great thing to do when your EpiPens or your Twinjects have expired. Uh, also, just as a side note, we've done this with our daughter's teacher as well. So if there's a time that you can arrange with your uh, child's teacher to go visit them, bring your orange, bring your expired epinephrine, and just show them how to use it. That would probably be a good use of your time. So let's start with the EpiPen. So here's a prescription, one full prescription of an EpiPen. It comes with two doses. So I'm going to take out the first one, you unscrew the top, and there's the medicine. All right, and then you hold it in the middle, get a nice firm grip on it, and you pull the gray tab off. Then, so you're pretending as if this is the meaty part of the thigh because that's where you're supposed to inject it or wherever your doctor has told you that you're supposed to inject it. So here's our thigh. You want to place it against the skin. Place it, don't jab. And then you want to push until you hear the snap and count to 10 slowly. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, etc. So let's just pretend like we've done that. Now, when you take it out, <laughs> there's the needle. So be really careful, you don't wanna jab yourself. And what we usually do is we just bend that needle back on our, you know, our countertop or on a paper towel, something like that. And then put it right back into the container and get that out of the way so that nobody pricks themselves. So that's the, that's the EpiPen. Couldn't be any easier. So please make sure that you provide caregivers, grandparents, babysitters with that one. Okay, now here's the Twinject. This is the one that my husband and I really like to carry because there are two doses. So if you saw the size of the EpiPen, that's one dose, but this is two doses. So no reason to ever be without it. All right, so again, it's expired. By the way, it also has a handy clip on it so that you can clip it right onto your, your waist. Okay, so there it is. Number one, you pull, the, sorry, again, you wanna hold it in the middle, not touching either end. Number one, you're gonna pull this off, okay? Number two, it's got a number two right on it, you're gonna pull this off. And again, 
Here's your thigh, your meaty thigh muscle. Place it, okay, and press. And you'll feel that. It kind of bounces back in my hand. And again, you're gonna count to 10 slowly. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, and so on. Now here's the interesting thing about the twinject. As I mentioned before, this is two doses in here. Be really careful about this needle because you're gonna use the same needle for the second dose. And if you're ever uncertain about how to administer the second dose, the instructions are right here wrapped around the twinject. So you can just peel the instructions back and read them and follow along. So I'm gonna do that just because we know we have time in between dose one and dose two. And that's your time to dial 911 or you know, seek help while you're preparing that second dose. Okay, so we are supposed to unscrew and remove the red tip. All right, so I'm gonna do that carefully because we've got our needle here. Now there's a spring inside of here, so you wanna kinda, kinda hang on to this while you're unscrewing it. In fact, this might be the better way to do it. Now there's a spring there, so it wants to come kinda bouncing off, so just be careful. So what you wanna do is you wanna carefully grasp it right around this, this blue part here. Don't grasp those threads because then you'll just be trying to pull the whole contraption apart. And that's not gonna do you any good. It should be really easy. If, if it's hard to get out of there, you're probably grasping the wrong thing. Okay, so there it is. I'm still being very conscious of where that needle is. Okay, so that's number one. Then you're gonna take the little yellow tab off. I think they've been orange at times too. And here's our second dose. You're gonna carefully place the needle in and depress the plunger. And then that second dose is going in and you're counting to 10 again. So there you go. That's, that's how you use them. So again, our three things that you wanna do with epinephrine are, number one, store it correctly. Not too hot or not too cold. Room temperature is the best, not in direct sunlight. Stay on top of that expiration date and get it refilled before your old one expires. And number three, practice. And we've just shown you how to do that. Thanks so much. There's one more thing that I wanted to add about epinephrine. I, I know this is gonna sound really silly, but I have a girlfriend that, that this actually happened to. Please make sure that you're carrying the medicine and not the trainer. Because in your prescription, you're gonna get both. You're gonna get the real medicine. So this is the EpiPen uh, medication. This is the EpiPen trainer. And for the Twinject, this is the Twinject medicine and this is the Twinject trainer. Notice these are a different color, so that's a little bit easier. But please make sure that when you get your new prescription and you are taking the medication out, grab the medicine and not the trainer. Thanks.